Hey guys, Alex Gautier with Huberger Subaru. I'm going to tell you today about Subaru's newest engine, the FA24. Thanks for tuning in. We're going to tell you guys all the new features of the FA24. You're going to find this engine in several Subaru models at this point in time. And to help me tell that story, I've got James Youngblood. He's one of our sales consultants at the store. James, how you doing? How's it going? Good to see you. Well, let's take a look at this new engine and dive right in. You going to drop some knowledge? Let's do it. Drop it. So uh, the first thing that we want to say about the new FA24 is that we're going to a direct injection turbocharged motor. So basically, instead of having a naturally aspirated motor, we're gonna have a turbocharged motor that is forcing air into the engine, making it more efficient. Okay. And what's direct, like what's direct injection versus, you know, what's, I don't know what's normal, so tell me about that, what's that? Mean? Sure, so uh, direct injection uh, is commonly compared to what's called port injection. And basically, instead of the fuel coming in through the top, it's actually going straight directly into the cylinder for a more direct uh, path into the motor. Okay, makes sense. And so what else? Like why, why is this a big deal? Why should people be excited about this? Well, this motor is gonna put out more horsepower, uh, more torque, and be more fuel efficient than its 3.6 R predecessor. Okay, great, well what else? what else? So in our previous motor, we were sitting at about 250 horsepower in the 3.6 R. We've moved up to about 260 horsepower. Oh, nice, so the six cylinder is actually lower horsepower than this new four cylinder. Correct. Okay. And the torque numbers have gone up, like I mentioned, to 277 foot-pounds of torque, all, right. all with getting about 30 miles per gallon highway versus 27 highway on the previous motor. Okay, great, so better gas mileage, more power, more torque. Those are all pluses. Pretty much like a win, 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 win. It is, and the other thing that a lot of people don't think of Especially if you're in a higher elevation uh, situation, a forced induction or turbocharged motor is going to retain that power as you go up in elevation, oh, where yeah. that naturally okay. aspirated is not. Okay, makes sense. Now, I'm, I know that I've talked to some people and I've just mentioned that we've got this new engine. We've got this on the Legacy. It's available on the Legacy, Legacy XT, Outback XT, and this is right out of the Ascent. This, that's where it actually debuted, right? It debuted in the Ascent and has now moved to the Outback and the Legacy um, and is a very similar version to what was adopted in the WRX previously on the FA20. Oh, so this isn't the first, like the first go round for this engine. It's not no. Subaru's first rodeo with this. This isn't Subaru's first FA motor. Uh, the WRX adopted that FA motor uh, quite, a, quite a bit ago, a few years ago, and so this isn't a first year production motor. Okay. It's something that Subaru has refined, tweaked, and brought to other models. So that's good news for people who are a little bit leery about being early adopters of technology or you know new stuff like that. Precisely. You don't really have to worry a whole lot about this. Exactly. Great. Um, what do you think? Have you driven it? I have driven it. Um, the pep is definitely there. The vehicle gets up and goes. There's there's no uh, doubt about that. You have more than enough power to, to do what you need. And in instances like the Outback, it definitely is helpful for towing or large loads that you would be doing with the vehicle. Okay, did you mention towing capacity already? Did you say what that was on the different models? Not yet. What is that? What's that look like? So uh, when you're in the Outback, the Outback towing capacity uh, bumps up to 3,500 pounds in these XT models. That's pretty good. Previously, it was about 2,700 pounds, so you're getting a lot more towing capacity uh, for this vehicle. All right, and what's it look like in the Ascent? The Ascent uh, is gonna be up to 5,000 in the premium or above models, um, and that's a big deal. There's, there hasn't been a Subaru vehicle uh, previous to the Ascent. That's like a good sized boat or something. Yeah, 5,000 pounds a lot. I mean, going up from 2,700 to 5,000, you're, you're getting pretty close to double your towing capacity, which is significant. Okay, great. Anything else mentioned, or is that kind of sum it up? That sums up the majority of it without going into explicit detail on the motor, but kind of putting it all into layman's terms there and, and getting a, a general idea of the changes that are out. I love it. Thanks so much for watching our video. We love making this content for you, so please comment or ask questions if there's something else in the Subaru world that you'd like to learn about. 
Don't be shy with the like button and please subscribe as those actions help other folks find this content.